This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? So Biggie from Baddies West was on Instagram Live and she still maintains that the reason why she was running from Stunner Girl and her people was because there was a G involved. Stunner Girl has actively denied the claims made by Biggie and Stunner Girl has come out and said that Biggie is lying. Stunner Girl also revealed that Biggie called the popo that night. So here is Biggie calling the popo. So listen to what Biggie had to say. So can somebody tell Stunner Girl that um we can meet up. I'm still in LA. Um you try to do some sneaky shit yesterday after the reunion. Which made no sense. Okay. And let's not forget. Yeah, I did run. Of course I'm going to run. There was of course I'm going to run. Of course I'm going to run. Um, but yeah. We can meet up. Because I'm not leaving LA till I find her. Just so we all know. Yeah. And y'all see me in the sun. Not one scratch, not one bump. Oh my God. Not one nothing. There. Yeah, somebody record this and show the fact that I don't have not one scratch, bump, nothing, nothing. Someone record this. Yeah, some someone record it. The fuck are you talking about? I can't even see. Really can't even see. Really can't even see. Oh no, I didn't get touched. We know that. No, yeah, of course. Um, of course he's gonna try it. But we all know how she does. She gets these for bitches. Literally. How do I look this good? How do I look this good? And there's two girls and a nigga. I would have at least whooped ass or done something. That doesn't make no sense. Of course I ran. There was uninvolved. <sighs> Literally, um, y'all seen it. It happened at 4 a.m. It's only been a few hours. Shut the fuck up, Chelsea, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Don't even get me started, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Even if I take the fucking filter off, bitch, shut the fuck up. The fuck up. I mean, you can see that I'm okay. You can see that I'm okay. It was the same chick that, um, it was the same, she pulled up with the same chick that Tommy ended up whooping her ass at the fucking, um, of course I ran. There was a whole, that's what she does.
I didn't leak anybody's address. But okay. Uh, whatever you say. I hear you, Mogul. I hear you. I hear you. Chelsea, I'm two seconds from blocking you. I don't give a fuck what you're saying, Chelsea. I don't give not one fuck. Alright, bitch. You're weird now. Now you're being way too weird, bitch. You're being way too weird. You're being way too weird. I don't know the So the girl's dad, um, that was my best friend. Yeah, my lace is messed up. We know that. No, I didn't. We all know I wasn't running from her. I was running. From her. Why would I be running from her? Be real with yourselves. That doesn't even make any sense. Hmm? Girl, I obviously kicked you off the live because how are you talking shit? Then you're talking about someone got free cut off you. Girl, you did nothing for me. You did nothing for me. I get it, we jumped on a couple lives together and a couple of your tricks added me. What are you talking about? We did nothing together. I'm not about to argue with you, girl. I got way too much going on. You're a weirdo. Talking about dry snitching, no, bitch. I have to let them know as to why I was running. Like, what the fuck? I just told you why I blocked you. I just told you why I blocked you. Talking about someone's dry snitching. No one's dry snitching, bitch. It's what the fuck happened. I'm gonna explain as to why I was running, bitch. What the fuck? What you thought, I'm gonna just be quiet? Like, bye, girl, go to fucking hell, bitch. Go to hell, Chelsea, go get, go stay in Providence. Go to hell, bitch, I'm not about to argue with you, bitch. Go to hell, go to hell, bitch, go to hell. Go to hell, bitch. I'm not about to argue with you, go to hell, bitch. Go to hell, bitch. All right, that's fine. I'm not adding you onto shit, bitch. You're a weirdo, go to hell, bitch. Who had it? I don't know. It was a nigga with um, it was a nigga with a fucking mask on and a hoodie. And the minute I squared up, he said, "Mm-hmm, try it." That's what really did. It's like great food. Unless you like it. Hmm. Pay attention. Let's go, I'm gonna roll up. No, I'm not gonna get off live. Bon paya, bon paya.
Okay. Es un masaje. No? Okay. It's starving. And Dante, we're going to go get a massage. We got things to do. Things to accomplish today. You guys are not taking, like, you guys are not taking anything into consideration. Let's let's remember, right? This happened after the reunion. After the woman got her ass beat. Okay? This happened after the reunion. She tried to run up on me with multiple people. And literally, I understand. I get it. But why not do some damage? You feel me? Because I swore up. In the video, you can see me squaring up with the girl. I swore up with the girl. And she literally... Just kept telling her friend to get me. She was like, get her, get her, get her. Mind you, why does your friend have to get me? Why do I have to lie, though? That's on my mother's soul. I don't have to lie. I gotta lie. If she didn't, I would have fought without a problem. Yes, I was running. And she didn't follow the car. She was already sitting there. When I hopped out the car, when I hopped out the car, um, I was literally like right there in the middle. I hopped out. I walked out for two seconds. I was on the phone and homeboy was literally standing at the car door. Like she came running. And when she came running, I was like, I right, fuck it. Like, so be it. You feel me? Cause I didn't hear too many people with her. I was like, I right, so be it. You know what I'm saying? She about to, we're about to go head up without a problem. You feel me? Um, shorty, shorty comes around the corner. And she's like, yeah, bitch, we're jumping you. And I'm like, okay, like, y'all not beating me. You feel me? So I score up. This is a thing for dinner. This is dinner. Come on, let's get here. And I know where the shorty's at. She's in West Hollywood. Because just know, I'm tracking that phone. I'm going to find that bitch, so... And like I said, if we would have been on the East Coast, niggas just would have stopped there right there and would have just went head up. Makes no sense. Just, why don't you just go head up? We could have just went a fair head up instead of you running and chasing me. Why would I ever run from her? Be real with yourselves. Anybody is. So I'm not going to be upset about nothing that you guys are saying. That's literally all she wanted was a recording to embarrass me. Besides that, she didn't get nothing else. I never said she was chasing me. She never in her hand. Homeboy did. Exactly. Mind you, if that happened on the East Coast, we would have never even recorded her. She would have just got her ass whooped. <laughs> she was sitting around recording people, doing weird shit. That makes no sense. The story doesn't keep changing. This happened at the hotel room, but okay. Obviously, that's all she did was pull my hair and grab my phone. That's all she did. I'm not, about to, I'm not about to argue with you guys. If she had me by herself in front of a hotel room, it was just her and her peoples. It was just me by myself and her and her peoples. Y'all talking all this, but there's nothing wrong with me whatsoever. Not even a bite. Nothing. Bro, you people just make anything up. People just make anything up. You guys like live for this. I didn't get jumped. She didn't even touch me. Okay. Literally, how did she touch me? And if I got jumped by her and her people, wouldn't I have a scratch or something on me? 
a scratch, a bump, nothing, not even a busted lip, nothing, not even a busted lip, nothing, like let's be real. I didn't run from her. I ran from the people that she was with because obviously they had a... I didn't run from her. So the person that was running after me was a fat girl that, um, the fat girl that, um, Tommy fought right after the reunion and the guy, the guy that had. And we didn't film the reunion till like 1 a.m. Cool. All of us mobbed her at the reunion. We all mobbed her at the reunion. That's why she was acting like that. She was mad. So just in case you're not aware, Stunner Girl posted a whole breakdown to show what really happened. And she is saying that what Biggie is saying is not true. Go to my Instagram page so that you can see that video. Link is in my description. It is a little too graphic to post here. And in any event, in my humble opinion, G or no G, the chasing was too much because somebody could have gotten hurt. And I really feel that things went too far. What are your thoughts on what Biggie had to say and the situation as a whole? Let me know your thoughts. Are you serious? Yo, are you serious? Are you serious? Here, here. Are you serious? Biggie, I got your phone, you scary. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.